what's up names gently and one and welcome back to some more soul caliber 2 weapon master mode as in the last episode i guess that you could say i could be i beat the game but not really all i did was kill off the final boss i guess but that's just the main story now there's all challenge fights and if you notice everything's clear that's because i switched over to my other memory card where i have absolutely everything in the game unlocked because two reasons one I don't feel like going through and doing, like, I'm going to tell you how this post game is going to go, this post main game, is I'm going to do all the challenge fights, but, and this is the important part, not doing dungeons, not doing dungeons, I'm sorry, those are just boring, and to unlock everything, you have to go through a bunch of dungeons, and I didn't feel like doing that again when I already had this file with everything done, so yes. So for post game, I'm just doing all, like, the challenge fights, if it's a dungeon, we're skipping it. Because dungeons are boring anyways. Although before I go into the challenge fights, I'm just going to cover what you get in the game for beating everything, basically. So, here's the unlocks you get to unlock. Well, how should I put this? I'm just going to go through what you can unlock that isn't the main ten chapters. So first you get sub-chapter one for completing... Uh, not for completing chapter three, for going down. When you complete stage three of chapter three, you unlock... Extra, uh, sub chapter one not extra I don't know why they did that there's as you can see there, there's an extra chapter and then they have sub chapters but yeah that's how you get sub chapter one and then sub chapter three is on some chapter where is it three is unlocked if you do the crystal mine and then you can go up into Pollux and then that's where things get interesting is after you complete heroes trail on Pollux you will unlock uh, sub chapter four and that is Procyon and then that after completing Procyon you will be allowed to go to this phantom cave down here that was normally locked off in Merrick and then that's sub chapter 4 sub chapter 3 and if you notice that sub chapter 1 3 and 4 where's 2 2 is the hardest one to get you have to go and get to level 72 to where your ti character's title card is going to say uh, Edge Master as the title. And if you go back and clear Merope Monastery again after you've reached an Edge Master level, you will unlock Subchapter 2 Alioth, which is where all the hardest fights in the games are because that's the hardest one to unlock. And then the two extra chapters, I believe. Let's see, Algol. What is this? I forget. Hmm. I believe it's... I'm confused now. Hmm. Ah, yes. This is where you purify the sword in the story. And I believe after you beat the game, you unlock Northern Algol. If you do the extra mission for Stage 2. And then that will allow you to go to Extra Chapter 1. To go to one of the hardest dungeon in the, dungeons in the game, the Swordsman's Grave. Which is one of the two that gives you every enemy in the game. And then the other one is after you get to subchapter 4, if you go down and clear the Lynx Arbor, you get to go to extra chapter 2 Cepheus, which is the hardest chapter in, well, second hardest chapter in the game. Because while Alioth has you fighting off in the hardest normal battles, these have the hardest challenges, and the Hero's Tomb is the longest one in the game. Because let's just look in, I'm just going to look in here and show you. Okay, you see this square? You have to go every square along the top to, until you hit the left corner. Then you go down along the side until you hit the bottom left corner. And then you go all the way back to the bottom right corner. And that's where the boss is. Yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. That's partially why I'm not doing dungeons. But enough talk about unlocks. Also, I believe... Uh, well, let's see. That was the... that. Okay. I have no idea what I'm saying right now. I should have written this down. It would have been helpful. But all of that was the first reason why I'm playing on my other save because I have everything unlocked and then the second one is that I believe when you unlock is it Castor is it yes Castor you get Link's other two costumes and I've got to play as blue Link and then Cepheus also has ultimate weapons I believe ultimate weapon yes Link's ultimate weapon is the great fairy sword and is the most broken broken weapon in the game as fitting a weapon pulled from 
Majora's Mask where if you weren't oh, completely powerful, you're getting killed. But yeah. Also, just to note, more unlocks when you clear uh, Subchapter 1, you clear the extra mission on the Stone Temple, you unlock the ability to play as Berserker. And then if you complete absolutely everything, you gain the ability to play as Lizard Man. But yeah, so enough talk. It's time for gameplay. So we beat that already last episode. So extra mission. No more story. This is going to be like the gameplay part of the thing. Because even though the subchapters do have story, the story amounts to, hey dude, there's a legendary weapon or something here. Go get it. Like that's all there is to it is, hey look, legendary weapon. Go get it. Air combo. Ow. But yes, that's that's literally the entire story. Like, you go to Alioth, and it's like, Alioth, the land where four edge masters face off in constant war. But now that you're there, they're all gonna die. And then you kill them all, and that's the story. Okay, so Ivy, Astaroth, yeah. So this is that mission where we had to prove our strength against the three hero characters pretending to be bandits. Now we have to face against three evil characters. Well, I say three evil characters, but Ivy was in there. I don't really know. Like, they never make clear where Ivy exactly is on the scales of things in the conflicts in Soul Calibur. Like, she's always just kind of there. I never really got that. Like, even in Soul Calibur 5, with its bare minimum of story, Ivy was just... Her part in the story was she was just there. It's like, oh, hey, you brought me some alchemical ingredients? Okay, magic sword time! Stop it. Stop it. Nightmare. Nightmare. Fine, whatever. But the nice thing now that all of this is here and it's just challenge fights and completely pointless, I can skip it if I feel like it. So I'm going to do that. I'm just going to show all the missions. I don't really need to beat them. It's just interesting to see the gameplay. Enemies have strange weapons. Defeat them under this condition. That's what makes this interesting is that it has some crazy stuff. Like Alioth. All of Alioth's mission statements basically just say fight the enemy under unknown conditions and then you'll be in the middle of a battle and then suddenly you will hit the floor and bounce off because the floor is trapped but walls won't be trapped and then the enemy will be able to stun you and hit like I th I'm pretty sure it randomizes what effects you get okay and she's got her joke weapon so this is gonna be really easy the only thing the joke weapons have going for them is that they stun I believe I I'm pretty sure that's what they do is they like they're really the joke weapons Quite literally, you have to get you have to go to Alioth to get the joke weapons. You have to prove that you're the most dangerous character in the entire universe to be able to use the joke weapons. Because they require advanced strategies. See, he's using the joke weapons, but they're fat. I think that's the other thing, is that they're fast. They're weak, but they are fast, and I'm pretty sure that they stun really, really badly. Because I remember Maximilian playing this exact game on the Dolphin emulator, and he used uh Nightmare's boat or weapon. I'm pretty sure he like had heavy stun every time he hit him. And see, Link here's got the butterfly net. I didn't know what his was and I couldn't figure it out. I was thinking like the Kokiri sword or something, but nope, it's a butterfly net. And that's even funnier than the Kokiri sword. Although the, Ko the Kokiri sword would have just been awesome. Knockout. Get down. Okay, mission succeeded. See, I'm level 76 on this one. Platinum Edge Master, that's what it takes to unlock Alioth. Okay, land 20 hits on the faster enemy and survive. So it's just, again, it's just the basic missions we already went through. But then it cranks it up a notch. And I'm pretty sure it automatically sets the AI like really high too. Okay. Stop it. Stop it. There we go. Got it. <sighs> yes, you have failed. Mission succeeded. But yeah, I'm pretty much the highest rank you can get. You can go above level 76, but all it does is just say Edge Master of X, Edge Master of Y, X Master of Z. All the way up until you get to level 99 and get the best title ever. Level 99, Ultimate Counter Stopper. The counter is just done. 
Okay, I think this will be the last one. I talked for a while. I can't see the clock. I keep saying that I can't see the recording clock. I need to stop talking about how I'm recording things to talk about the game. But yeah, this will be the last one for this episode, I think. So you constantly get pushed, can't stop again. Can't stop at the edge of the stage. You move faster. This ought to be interesting. Versus Mitsurugi. Uh-oh. Mitsurugi's pretty good, but his slowness is what kind of hampers him. Everybody's really fast, man. And it's it's attack speed increase, too. Wow. Let's get off the edge. Bye-bye. I throw you from the tower. Okay, that was a lot faster than I was expecting. No. No mines. Carnival. Enemy with a, enemy with a ring out. Versus Berserker. Oh, hello. Okay, yeah, he's a lot heavier than Charade is. But yeah, it's kind of funny. That mission where you unlock the Berserker when you do the Stone Mine special mission. It is quite literally non-stop Berserkers. The entire dungeon is Berserkers, and I guess that's why you unlock him there. But anyways, this has been Jet Little One, and I will see you next time as we continue on with the post-game bonus missions. See you then. Sorry if this is short. Can't see the clock. Stop talking about the clock, Jet.